Okay, now we're gonna start waxing the biggest tooth in the mouth, the uh, maxillary upper first molar. And we're gonna lubricate it and slap some wax on top just to make a coping. So we'll wax around it and I'm gonna jump a little bit just to save time because I have to make the video under 15 minutes. Let's pause here and keep applying. Once the coping is done, we're going to put back onto the model and start to add uh, wax to the buckle side. Now it's a big uh, tooth here and we're going to do quite a bit of addition so I'm going to just skip and you continue to keep adding. Okay, I'll skip a few minutes. Now we come to the occlusal table area. We wax up the mesial uh, marginal ridge area, distal marginal ridge area. Create the occlusal table. So here we continue the wax on the buckle side just to make sure it's level with the adjacent teeth. And fill in the mesial buckle cast, or rather the buckle surface. Now the distal. Connect, continue to fill in uh, now we are filling in on the lingual surface filling in the proximal area like I said it's a big molar so we have a lot of wax to add
remove the dye and fill in on the proximal contact areas touch up the margins Continue to add and fill in all the deficient areas. So we'll take the cover and kind of smooth out the surface edges, reduce any excess bulk. Now we put the dye back onto the model and we check for occlusion and if it's out of occlusion we're going to do a minimal addition now working on the uh, mesial uh, lingual cast so we keep adding until we get an indication mark and then we kind of smooth out so that we know that cast tip is going to go into occlusion with the opposing We notice the buckle is really out of occlusion, so we're going to start adding the triangular ridge, bringing the uh, occlusion table in a little bit. Here, the distal triangular ridge. So, we got that uh, lingual cast tip into occlusion, so now we're going to bring the uh, Buckle cast it into alignment. The buckle cast tip is kind of short, so here I'm adding length to it. The cast tip really, both on the mesial and the distal. Now that we got most of the uh, cast tip into occlusion, we remove the dye and do a general cleanup and see if there's any deficient area to be added, in this case the uh, distal lingual cast. Now, 
in the uh, case of carving so I kind of remove the die so it's easier to handle so that I can uh, flip the die around and using the sharp edge carver I could put in the grooves S shaped grooves instead of straight line grooves and generally you carve out the occlusal uh, morphology or the details okay and it's quite easy if you can memorize the uh, the way the groove flows and you did put in the final touches wax is soft so you just have to do very uh, gentle carving Now if you can control the wax, the temperature of the wax, then you can actually also put in uh, lines and grooves quite quite easily. But you probably need to use a uh, electric waxer, much easier to control. There you go, a little bit of deficient in the distal contact. giving the final touches to the completed maxillary first molar so here we go we have the completed 